it's good old fashioned lover boy, and this is my tutorial on how to play Night in the Afternoon by Panic at the Disco. I'm really hoping this tripod stays up, and if it falls, I'm gonna be major pissed, but other than that, I think it's doing okay. Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you it in three different parts. I'm gonna teach you the four chords that you need to know in order to play the song, and then I'm gonna teach you the low part. And then I'm going to teach you the chorus. Okay, so let's start off with the four chords. First, you're going to have an A sharp octave down here on this note and this note. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Hopefully, you can. And then up here, you're going to have A sharp, D, F. That. Then your other chord is going to be. A G octave down here, this note and this note. I don't know if you can see that one on camera, but whatever. And then you're gonna, up here you're gonna have G, A sharp, D. Up here you're gonna have your D octave, these two notes, along with D, F, A up here, and then a C octave down here, these two notes with C, D sharp, G. Alright, now that you know the four chords, um, I'm just gonna start playing it like Brendan can. This is, um, your hand is basically never gonna stop doing this. Uh, for the most part, your hand's just gonna do this over and over and over and over and over before it drives you insane like it has with me. Uh, along with your bass part, which you can add whatever kind of groovy thing that you can do since I've only been playing for about a year, but I just like to... That's what I like to do. Um, you can do something every measure, but I don't know. You kind of define your own style by doing the bass part whatever you like. So that's how you kind of start off. And then when Brendan sings, um, back to the street where we began, feeling as good as lovers. On lovers, you go A sharp, C, D, A sharp, and then down, you're going to switch to your G, A sharp, D chord, after, while still playing. So. You'll understand ones. Okay. Feeling as good as lovers can you know. Kind of see how you switched your chord right here. Now down here, you're going to flick your fingers from F to G. Just kind of, just kind of, just kind of, just kind of, just kind of like that. Okay? So you're going to flick your fingers F, G, A sharp, C, A sharp. Then you're going to do a two finger chord. I actually kind of like these. G D, G D, G D. Then you're just kind of move up to A sharp, D sharp. Just once. All right. Um, if you didn't catch it the first time, just rewind it on YouTube, and you should be doing okay by now. Uh, so let me just play it from the top. Back to the street where we began. Feeling as good as lovers can you know. I'm sorry, I actually have a horrible singing voice, so just kind of bear with me. I'm just speaking the, speaking the lyrics right now, but whatever. Um, now that you know that part, when it gets to the part where it begs the street where we began, feeling as good as lovers can you know, we got feeling so good, thinking of things we shouldn't read, end of history as you know. Back to the street where we began, feeling as good as love you could you can. It's basically what you just learned. Just do this a couple times. And then just back here, then you're gonna start up here again. And then now let's just go to the chorus. Once you learn the chorus, then just figure out what order everything goes in and you know the song. Just 
That's it. You know the song. It's actually pretty easy once you learn it. So now for the chorus. Cause it's nine in the afternoon. You're gonna cross your hand over here for more experienced players. You can just switch hands and then go up here, play play whatever which way you can. Um, this part's actually kind of tricky because you gotta play the bass part and then go up here. So you're gonna. Bass part up here. Bass part. Bass part. And then actually on this part, on these chords, you're gonna use this hand to do the part. And then just go back here. You're gonna use those four chords that I taught you in the beginning. And as you sing the chorus, then you should be able to tell when those notes switch and stuff. So let me teach you this part. One, two, you go up here. It's uh, D, D sharp, F, A sharp, A, then your chord down here while still playing this. Then it's A sharp, C, D, G, uh, hold on. It's A sharp. Yeah, it's uh, A sharp, C, D, G, D, chord, F, F, A sharp, your last chord, then it's go G, A, A sharp, go down an octave, because that's what it kind of sounds like on the song, and go A sharp, C, D, D, D sharp, F. So you go Sorry about that. all keeping a steady beat. So let's see here. 7 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay. So let's just play through what we learned. Four chords. And lovers, can you know? Yeah, I'm feeling so good. Thinking up things we shouldn't read. Yeah, and three as we know. Just the end of the world. Back to the street where we began. Feeling as good as love you could. I should know the rest from there, and then from the chorus, cause it's not nine in the afternoon. You rise to the sides of the moon. Do what you can, so you do. Feeling so good, it's just the way that we do. When it's nine in the afternoon, you rise to the sides of the moon. Do <laughs> what you can, so you do. Feeling so good. I know that sounds really stupid, but. I just really can't sing. That's I'm sorry everyone. So yeah, that's the tutorial and I hope you learned everything. If I left a part out, then just make a comment or send me a message and I should be able to get that up soon. So that that basically just said it all. Peace out.